In the seven months since the shooting at Rigby Middle School, the school and the district have started multiple new programs and expanded pre-existing programs and resources for students, parents and staff. Eyewitness News 3 reporter Rachel Fabby has more on what's being done to keep students safe. Jefferson School District 251 is one of countless districts with an app to help kids. And it's really for kids to report anything from bullying to harassment. Um, and so it's been a great way for us to communicate because you can communicate in real time with kids um, at any time of the day. I've messaged kids <laughs> at 10 o'clock at night. Um, and so it, and it's a great way for them to be heard. Um, and so that they know that they are safe coming to school the next day, that someone immediately knows what's going on in their lives. How it works is simple. It's an app parents or students can use to report something and can include things like when and where it happened and if there were any witnesses, all without having to put their name on it. The nice part about it, like Ms. Wagner said, is it's real time. So there have been times at 10, 10.30 at night, 11 o'clock, my phone will buzz or something and I can respond or I've seen her respond or Mr. Erickson respond late at night or in the morning automatically and we can message that student back in real time. It's just like texting. And if there is a threat. But I think it needs to be very clear that we take those very serious and yeah. we have and we will continue to take those to the board for expulsion. And in serious cases, the district says they will work with law enforcement to prosecute. But they are working to get ahead of these extreme cases by partnering with businesses like Qualtech. The company specializes in safety analysis and can help the school from both a physical and psychological standpoint. Standpoint. And we're very excited. It's very new. It's not done in any schools at this point, but it is done in other very large um, and high impact areas. And so it's uh, something that we think is, is groundbreaking on the, the school safety front. They've also started or expanded a few student led programs. Um, our new program is called SOAR and it stands for Strengths, Opportunities, Aspirations and Results. And we have it running at both middle schools for 30 minutes on Wednesdays. It's kind of like an advisory. Um, I actually have organized a kindness club here at the school and I have a group of students who are gonna be putting on a kindness competition with the other middle school. Um, so that's really exciting and it's really fun to see the kids get so actively involved to try and help each other. Um, we have an ambassadors club this year, which is really just students becoming leaders. Uh, Hope Squad is another one district wide. Um, it is peers, voting in peers, um, to really stop and help with suicide prevention. Wagner tells me all the programs have had a lot of student involvement and have been off to a great start. In Rigby, I'm Rachel Fabby.